Welcome to the Digital Certificates Overview, an introduction to digital certificate concepts. This video will cover what is a digital certificate and how a digital certificate is similar to a credit card. Also discussed will be the common types of certificates and a digital certificate's chain of trust, as well as there will be specific references to ACF2, Top Secret, and RACF commands. Please note there are text files associated with this video that include the syntactically correct commands and the command responses available for download. What is a digital certificate? A digital certificate can be used as an alternative to a user ID and password used to authenticate a client or server started task. A digital certificate is an electronic document issued by a certificate authority, also known as a CA. Through the use of public key cryptography, a certificate contains the public key for a digital signature and it specifies the identity associated with the key, such as the name of an organization. The certificate is used to confirm that the public key belongs to the specific organization. A digital certificate is similar to a standard credit card that we use every day. Here, we see a typical credit card on the left and the representation of a certificate on the right. A certificate's subject DM, as shown in red, is similar to the credit card holder's name. It uniquely identifies the certificate's or credit card's owner. The issuer DN of a certificate is similar to the credit card issuer. It identifies who issued or authenticated the certificate or credit card. In this example, ABC Bank issued the credit card. The serial number of a certificate is similar to the credit card account number. It identifies a unique number associated with the issuer of the certificate or credit card. The expiry date of a certificate is similar to the credit card valid through date. It indicates the date that the certificate or credit card will expire. The public slash private keys of a certificate are similar to the credit card's embedded chip, which contains keys used for encryption, signing, or verification. In digital certificate terms, subject DN, issuer DN, key, and serial number, the chip in your card generates a unique code. The card chip contains a secret value, which is also known to the bank. The card can compute digital signatures. It contains a private key known to no other entity. In particular, the issuing bank does not know the private key either. The corresponding public key is certified by the bank, i.e., the bank has signed a package containing that public key and the card ID. To take the analogy further, let's look at how a credit card is used to make a purchase. A user takes their personal credit card to make a purchase at a local store. In this example, the store is Sheldon's. The credit card contains all of the user's personal information. The store will take the credit card information and verify the credit card with ABC Bank, the credit card issuer. Once the issuer authenticates the credit card, the purchase can be completed. Similarly, let's look at how a digital certificate is used to authenticate a client trying to connect to a server. On the left, we have the client with its personal certificate and the CA, cert auth certificate that authenticated it. On the right is the server, which is a copy of the same CA, cert auth certificate that authenticated the client's personal certificate. The client authentication process is as follows. The client will connect to the server. After server authentication is done, the client will pass its personal certificate to the server for authentication. The personal certificate was signed by or authenticated by a CA, cert auth certificate, similar to how ABC Bank authenticated or issued the credit card. For the server to authenticate the client's personal certificate, the server needs the CA, cert auth certificate that signed the client's personal certificate. Once the personal certificate is authenticated, a secure connection is established. There are basically two types of certificates, personal certificates and cert auth certificates. Here are several types of personal certificates. Personal certificates have a private key and are associated with a user. The user can be an actual user ID, a server tasks user ID, a client tasks user ID, or a special site cert user ID. A site cert certificate is a personal certificate that can be shared between multiple users or tasks. With all types of personal certificates, the certificate and its private key are used in place of a user ID and password. The other type of certificate is the CERT auth certificate. CERT auth certificates are known as signing certificates used to sign or authenticate other CERT auth or personal certificates. A CERT auth certificate can be either an intermediate CERT auth certificate or a root CERT auth certificate. A root CERT auth certificate is self-signed, meaning that another CERT does not sign its auth certificate but is signed by itself. To better understand intermediate and root cert auth certificates, let's look at a signing certificate's chain of trust. So, 
What is a certificate's chain of trust? The certificate signing chain or chain of trust comprises a list of certificates that start from a personal certificate and terminate with the root cert auth certificate. Suppose a personal certificate is to be trusted. In that case, its signature must be traceable back to its root cert auth certificate, meaning all certificates in the chain, personal, intermediate cert auth certificates, and root cert auth certificate must be properly trusted. This chain of trust can consist of a personal certificate and just a single root cert auth certificate or a personal certificate, several intermediate cert auth certificates, and a single root cert auth certificate. For example, let's look at the personal certificate my server that is signed by an intermediate cert auth certificate inter 2, which is signed by another intermediate cert auth certificate inter 1, which is signed by the root cert auth certificate US root. The three cert auth certificates inter 2, inter 1, and US root are the cert auth signing chain of the personal certificate my server. Using the same example, let's look at how the certificates are chained together based on each certificate's subject DN and issuer DN. Remember, the subject DN is the unique name of the certificate, and the issuer DN is the name of the certificate that signed it or authenticated it. So if we look at my server.cert, we see that cert auth signed it. Inter2 is shown in green because the issuer DN of my server cert is the subject DN of cert auth.inter2. So cert auth.inter2 signed or is the issuer of my server.cert. Next, if we look at cert auth.inter2, we see that cert auth signed it. Inter1 is shown in blue because of the issuer DN of cert auth.inter2 is the subject DN of cert auth.inter1. So cert auth.inter1 signed cert auth.inter2. And lastly, if we look at cert auth.inter1, we see that cert auth signed it. Give us root because the issuer DN of cert auth.inter1 is the subject DN of cert auth.us roots. So cert auth.us root signed cert auth.inter1. We are now looking at cert auth.us root. We see that the subject DN and issuer DN are identical. So cert auth.us root is self signed, a root cert auth certificate, and the signing chain ends with cert auth.us root. Here are the actual ACF2 commands to create the certificates from the previous example. These commands are included in the text file that is associated with this video for download, as mentioned earlier. Here are the actual top secret commands to create the certificates from the previous example. Once again, commands are included in the text file associated with this video for download. And lastly, here are the rack F commands to create the certificates from the previous example. As mentioned earlier, these commands are included in the text file associated with this video for download. Next, we will look at how to verify a personal certificate's chain of trust. We will start with ACF2. The ACF2 check cert command with the chain parameter can be used to display information about the certificate usrtest.cert and verify its signing chain of certificates. The check cert command will display all the certificate information for each, followed by the chain information, indicating the number of certificates in the chain and whether the chain is complete. If the chain is not complete, that would mean that a cert auth certificate in the signing chain is missing from the ACF2 database, which would cause authentication errors for the SASL connection. Here is the top secret equivalent check cert command with the chain parameter. Note that with top secret, the personal certificate must be exported to a dataset in a PKCS7 package for the check cert to be done against the dataset. Note the similar display of certificate information and the chain information. Here is the rack F equivalent rack D cert command with the list chain parameter. Note the similar display of certificate information and the chain information. Please note there are text files associated with this course that include the syntactically correct commands and the command responses available for download. Please click on the file links to the right of the video to access the ACF2, Top Secret, and Rack F text files. This video showed you how to understand what a digital certificate is and how it is similar to a credit card recognize common types of digital certificates, and identify the digital certificates in the chain of trust. Thank you for watching this video on Digital Certificates Overview.